What's going on, everybody? Doc, Average Gamer Guys, back it again. More Escape Series action and Escape from Tarkov. So, I have some Shoreline survives to get done. We are literally going right back in. I waited a little bit. I did some stash management. And from the last episode, same kit. Strand Hog, kind of just very basic SVD with a mount and a sight. And uh, we're going to jump back in. We're going to try to continue to get our survives here. 12 more to go. 12 to go. We're going to hopefully see if we can run into a little bit of PvP. Continue on with our Punisher series. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Still a little bit sniffly. Uh, but other than that, if you missed the previous episode, what I'm trying to do here is get this gazelle. We want to be able to do that and then jump into hot delivery and get this thing finished up. Because finding a gazelle at this point uh, might be a little bit difficult. So we're going to try to take what the game has given us and hop into that. So without further ado, let's get in. Let's get to some shoreline raids. All right, so we're jumping in here, 12 survives. I'm hoping we can get some of the lucky ones, some of the lucky spawns we got the last time. And as I say that, proves to not, not be true. So this is an interesting spawn, actually. I don't imagine we would get anybody to our left. We also went like six in the morning, but what I do anticipate is we can have somebody in the back corner over here. And that might present a unique opportunity for a kill here. So I really have two options here to get out. I could push straight through gas station and see if we run into any PVP along the way there. It will take us a requisite amount of time to get there that would be appropriate to just do basically just run through. The other option is to try to go path to lighthouse here. Let's see if we run anybody across that way. What I what I would have been hoping there for there is a uh Ideally, with this setup, we need some long-range engagements where we can get a couple of shots off. Maybe even with so uh, without somebody seeing us, so... I don't know if we're gonna get that. I'm gonna go... This might be dumb, but I'm gonna go the... Go the gas station route here. That was close. Can scale. I should so freaking dark I can't see to the top of that. What I like to do here 
Because I'm gonna just get I'm gonna get down to the beach. I think the beach is a little bit less. You're a little less exposed there. Like you have a little bit easier time taking some of the angles. Oh my gosh, how lucky is that? How freaking lucky is that? That's insanely lucky. Woo! Let's go. Alright, nice quick eight minute raid. We get the one scav headshot. One's all the way down, making our way up to the next level. Best part, we get our base. So again, quick loot check here. Uh, Augmentant's pretty good. We'll definitely hang on to this. Couple of things that we're gonna sell. The vase is big because we get to turn in living high is not a crime part two, which is a uh, really nice. Actually, this is good. We get an Alton and a face mask. We get a CPC. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite play carries 115,000, but a good chunk of experience too. Uh, and some nice progress with Ragman. This might actually get me, I'm going to be really close now to uh level 32 yeah 13,000 experience away so we are making some moves here which is really nice and uh that's a that's a big jump for us if we're able to get up to 32 so we'll look to try to do that as well and again some pretty solid items here uh to add to the collection so we'll sell off the rest of the stuff here and uh jump back more shoreline action in the raid. all right Got a quick one in. Let's see if we can do it again. So again, these are not bad spawns here. If we can get some PvP interactions. Really just need somebody to crush one of these hills over here.
I think I take the same tack. For the same play. Roll down, try to push through gas quickly. Uh, I could definitely get somebody that spawned over by blue fence, so we could be rolling behind somebody. God. Okay, well. Now I definitely want to survive this raid. then we wouldn't even have to do the shoreline survives. Same play as last time. making the assumption that that was at me. I feel like that's a really fair assumption. That's huge, though. That is huge. There we go. Quick eight-minute raid. One scab headshot. Okay, so the best part here is pick up a gazelle, which is amazing. Um, I am going to see if... Let's go... What am I doing? Oh, my gosh. Let's see. We have kind of a night-ish interchange. That's where I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to get situated here. We're going to pop in. We're going to see if we can get hot delivery done. And uh, that would be amazing. So get uh, organized. See you in the red.
We need a good spawn. One time. We're outside. That doesn't mean a whole lot. Oh no. Oh, this is horrible. Legitimately? Do I hide? That's about as bad as it gets. I gotta wait. I am legit gonna wait like two minutes. There's like one, two, three, four, like five spawn points that could come in and absolutely own me. And I want nothing to do with any of those. Just want to get the armor down, 100%. Alright, I gotta try to... Start moving here. This is a little nerve-wracking. Really hoping at this point everybody's basically gotten inside. God, somebody's walking up. Oh my God. This guy has GP NVGs on too. Let's go. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? stole it from him oh no bud <laughs> oh. He was coming to do the same same thing, bro.
I feel a little bad about that, but that's huge quest progress for us, so. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna feel that bad. awful how is he running those and with a pistol of all things too This is so huge. That's so huge. Absolutely nuts. Nine minute, thousand experience. We thorax this guy. I am so sorry, but thank you for the SVD kill, the extra gazelle. We get the interchange survive. Oh man, and hot delivery is done. All right, and here is the, uh, the loot haul. Uh, we get a gazelle. We take one in, we take one out. That was just good timing. Uh, Alex Woods, Woods, Woos, sorry, bud, but thank you. Thank you for the stuff. In, interestingly enough, we also get a set of GPNVGs, uh, which is uh, amazing. We'll add that to our little collection that we got running there. The best part ends up being hot delivery is done and we get a punisher kill. We are seven away. We are very much over the halfway mark. Let's go ahead and get hot delivery turned in. That opens up scavenger, which is a required search skill. We're at six out of nine, so that'll just be continuous. It's a little sad, but it's also good. We don't have to finish the other 10 uh, shoreline survives if we don't want to. I'm gonna take a look at what other quests we have, but I think most likely we're gonna be jumping back and heading into customs to be able to get some stuff done. I do get one additional sales night survive, which is really nice. I also think, if I'm not mistaken, we hit level 32 with that, which gives us Ragman leveled up, which is pretty nice as well. We get a couple of things from him. Let's take a look. We get some good barter trades, potentially good barter trades. Let's see some backpacks we haven't seen yet. I'm trying to think of that. Push anybody else over. No, we still need a few levels for those guys. And we're sitting at basically level three for just about everybody. We do need to focus in on a few of these tasks as well. Uh, probably, probably revision. Although we're gonna need RBST for that. We'll need a few keys to do a few of these things. I do need to get some, some movement with Peacekeeper here. Um, getting these MREs would be good to, to get him leveled up. And I think it's 40 and 42 to get to the last level. So good progress, really nice quest progress. Very happy with all of that. That was really, really solid. I think, uh, we're going to take this kid in and we'll just give, uh, give old customs a try. See if we can run across Rishala. We'll see how that goes. See you right. All right. We're going to see if we can add to our Punisher total here. Seven kills away. Hmm. You know what? We're going across. We're going to see if we can get, catch any crossers.
Вот он! This kind of ruins my plan here. Земляк, мы стрелять не хотим, мы так наблюдаем. The thing here is I want to be able to put myself in a position to catch basically both sides. We got him. We got one. he go across there he is still over there. I don't think he can get out from here. I don't, I don't believe he can crawl under from there. He's going to have to either hop up on the pipe or come out from the way that he came in. Still some shots back there, too. Two man.
feel like if I was silenced here, I'd be in a much better position. I don't think I killed this guy. No, I didn't kill him. This one guy is still definitely over here. In that corner. Maybe he did get out. God dang it, I just never saw him. I guess he did. Man, that freaking sucks. Yeah, that guy dead to rights, too. Dang it. They pinched me. They had to have been on a team. Oh, I did kill this guy. I didn't think I killed him. I would not have run that way had I thought I killed him. Oh, God dang it. We got the one, though. Got the one. We hit some shots. I wasn't, I wasn't missing a whole lot. Hmm. Man, that another guy came across. Very interesting. I don't. I actually don't think they were together. Okay, so I think I am going to just continue. Uh, I think we'll, we'll load up a trooper here. We'll try to get a, another SVD built. Happy that we killed that first guy. Uh, that puts us, I think, with nine kills for Punisher. So we need six more. Fortunate we couldn't uh, get a few more there, but uh, let's see if we can finish up with a handful more and uh, we'll jump back into the raid. See you in customs. All right. Decent PvP. We're getting some kills. We just need some more. Also an interesting spawn. I like pushing across here and then kind of waiting to see... Where we get the other spawns at, though. I don't have range this time. I went no range. This feels like a setup probably good for dorms. Not doing too too many fancy things with these SVDs. I 
I do think suppressing it is the way to go if you're, if you're thinking about how to build it. We gotta wait for this guy, I think. Oh, he's in big red. The guy pushed to. Back to a position to get some angles here. I kind of swear I was shooting inside there. I think it's a blue hut, actually.
This is interesting. I don't know what this guy's pathing is. He's killed these couple of scabs back here. He didn't loot them at all. Maybe this one he did. this I'd be lying if I said I wasn't fused
One down. Jesus. This guy literally found all of this stuff. He's absolutely loaded. This is insane. That question is, where did he find all that stuff? It was all FIR. Chunky.
Okay, so it looks like he came through here. Oh, man. CV-13 is on. Looks like a guy, doesn't it? It really did. Mm -hmm. I'm taking this win 100%. Absolutely. That was huge. Great raid. All right. Nice little 20 minute. I felt like we we chased that one guy felt like forever, but we ended up getting the kill there. Close to 3000 experience. I I don't know if the first shot missed or ricocheted, but I'm glad we dropped this guy and then uh unfortunate for our level 6 there, but we get that knocked out as well. And that level 6 had a lot of gear on him. <laughs> Okay, so I don't really know what happened with the recording right there at the end. I got to check maybe my connections. So sorry if that looked a little wonky as we were finishing that last raid. I didn't notice it until we popped out of there. But here's what we got. Here is our loot haul. Um, MGT is really solid. Vodka, we need two Shankas. We get another Gazelle, so we're really out of space for good armors is uh, where we're at with that. So we'll see what we have to do there in order to make some space. We grab a fuel, which is really nice. A couple other just good things that we'll be able to sell some meds and a few things that we'll be able to use. In addition, we actually get this pretty nicely uh, modded out ump. Uh, minus the 2x, I like everything else that we got going on there. So that was really, really solid. We grab a GP coin to boot. Um, so some good money as we look to get this thing finished up. The best part ends up being is we got two, two of our Punisher kills there. So now we are down to four. We are over the two-thirds mark. Very, very excited about this, and uh, we are on our way. We also, I think, got a level up for athlete, which is nice. And uh, this was a pretty good episode as far as quest completion. We got quite a few things. It's really interesting that <laughs> we found yet another gazelle on somebody that we ended up killing because uh, the whole premise of the start of this episode was to get shoreline survives, to get a gazelle, to get hot delivery done. So we're able to get all that. So very happy with this. Some good PvP, some good interactions, and some definitely good quest progress. We've got quite a few things to be able to pick up here and get organized. So wish us luck with that. Um, but I will close this one out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel. Trying to get to 10k subscribers before the year is out. So if you en end up enjoying the series and you're not subscribed, you're popping back in and watching these or just popping into the channel, we do really appreciate it. Every subscription counts, so thank you so much. I'm going to flash some socials up at you uh, for our Twitch, our TikTok, our Twitter, and our Discord. Discord, if you want to stay up to date with the channel, best way to do it is there. We always post when new videos up, always post when we're going live. We do stream when we're on Twitch. Again, link in the description for that. Uh, Fridays and Saturdays, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, usually Sundays, and randomly throughout the week when we can in the evenings EST. So we'd love to have you come over, say what's up, hang out with us, talk about Tarkov, ask questions, run some raids, have a good time. We do play some other games, been playing a lot of Apex lately as well. So if you're interested in that, pop over. Um, TikTok, we're posting some content over there. We'd love to get some followers going. So appreciate all of that. And uh, yeah, Twitter, keep you up to date on the news. Try to retweet things that are important, at least for the EFT community. And uh, yeah, should be a good time. So thank you so much. Do really appreciate it. Close out. Uh, I'm Doc. Average Gamer Guys. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next Escape episode. Peace.